Hello my dear YouTube jewelers. Today I bring you a topic that has personally touched me and that I'm sure will affect many of us in the jewelry community. It's about Protway's recent and surprising decision to shut down the Solid Escape Wax 3D printer company. How can a company like Protway's leave thousands of people without service from one day to the next? Stay until the end of the video, and I'll give answers to some of the hardest and least good questions. Leaks suggest that the closure of Solid Skate is due to poor sales in 2023, which have led the company to suffer significant losses. When Broadway acquired Solid Skate from Stratasys in 2018, they got off to a bad start as they launched a resin 3D printer that was a dismal failure due to two factors. The first was that they were completely unaware of the jewelry market, and the second is even worse than you can imagine. The new Solid Escape DL was just a repainted version of the Rapid Shade D20 printer, which angered many people and was a failure. What surprises me is that they thought something like that could work. Despite these printers being valued at approximately 15,000 euros, they generated a turnover of 5 million euros, but also resulted in a significant loss. In 2023, they announced a new technology called Muse, which promised to lower costs and be an affordable wax printer. This option never made it to the market, at least in my country. It was the final hurdle for Solid Escape. But before I share with you the secrets that have led to the complete downfall of Solid Escape, please give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so YouTube keeps notifying you every time we upload a new video. And now, my experience with Solid Escape during this time has not been bad at all, in fact, I have recommended it to many colleagues in the field. I invested a more than considerable amount of money in this technology. And the news that Protways is unilaterally shutting down Solidscape, leaving its customers with unusable spare parts and services, puts it in an extremely difficult situation. I feel betrayed by Protways, as this change they call strategic, while it may be beneficial for them, leaves jewelers like me in the worst possible situation. Solid Escape's operations will end in summer 2024. What if you owned a $30,000 printer and faced this situation? Leave us a comment so we can read it. But wait, it's even more frustrating when you consider that the 3D printing sector for jewelry is still growing and is expected to exceed $22 billion by 2030. Despite competitors like 3D Systems releasing new products, Solidscape users, including myself, have already made investments. Switching platforms is not easy or cheap. Many believe that Solidscape has been like the Windows operating system, releasing one good printer model followed by a bad one, causing much controversy in the jewelry market. So much so, that we can say today that the T66 printer was bad, its successor the T76 was good, the disastrous 3Z was bad, and the S300 was good. Subsequently came the completely forgettable DL, which you can imagine was bad. The S3 Duo came next, basically a repainted version of the S300, so it was great. The Muse, Solid Escape's latest bad printer, is yet to be tested by anyone I know. There have been too many poor decisions at Solid Escape, even when it was managed by Stratasys, as coinciding with the release of the 3Z model, the production of the injectors was moved to China, and the continuous injector failures gave Solid Escape a very bad reputation. The conclusion is that if you have a Solid Escape, you have 30 kilograms of iron in your workshop, since we've run out of supplies and services overnight. Who would have thought that this would be the end of such a prestigious brand of 3D jewelry printers? I just hope that Protways, which for now seems to be washing its hands and sending people without answers to deliver the bad news, is held accountable in a court and that we are given at least a few years of service, even if it's by a judge's order. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment. See you in the next video.